Our daughter was nicknamed Princess Kalana from a very, very young, early age. She would always say, when I get married, I want a princess wedding. She knew exactly what her vision was going to be like. It needed to be perfect, it needed to be outdoors, and it needed to be with a prince. And when she met Jake, she knew exactly what her prince would be like. Nice to meet Jacob. When I think about the past eight years we've spent together, I'm so profoundly thankful and blessed that you chose me. From day one, you've made me feel safe and comfortable. I remember one of the first times we hung out, we were sitting on your bed in SP, and I so boldly told you, I know who I am and I know what I'm worth. Now, most 18 year old boys, or anyone really, let's be honest, would immediately run in the opposite direction. But you were different. You looked me in the eyes and you told me, I promise to choose you and fight for you, no matter what. From that day, I have watched you become so much more than the man of my dreams. Not only did you Google how to make over medium eggs, <laughs> but you make life so unbelievably easy. Even during the painfully difficult times, you always find a way to make it easy. You've created a safe space for our love to grow. You taught me how to love and to be loved unconditionally. You always put us first, even when it's hard. And above all else, you've kept your promise. So today, in front of everyone we love, I promise to always give you tickles before you go to bed. I promise to never bother you when the Masters is on, unless I'm hungry. I promise to mostly say yes if you ask if you can go golfing or play pickleball. I vow to cherish you, I vow to honor you, and I vow to always put our relationship first, even when it's difficult. I vow to love you wholeheartedly and unconditionally. I vow to fight for you until the end of time. But most importantly, I vow to wake up every single day and choose you for the rest of our lives. My dearest Kalena, as we stand here on this day, I can't help but think about where we started when we were only 18 years old. I think of that night in August 2015 when you asked me to make you a coffee and bring it down the street from our, my dorm to yours. I did not know at the time that with every step I took in delivering that coffee, I was stepping closer to my destiny, to our destinies. I remember from our very first conversations, I could tell that you were different than most people I had met in my life. In the few weeks from when we met to when we officially called ourselves a couple, I'll never forget how the more we spoke, the more I felt that I had somehow known you my whole life. Your ambition and focus immediately struck me and made me feel a connection to you I had never felt with anyone before. Even today, I can't remember what life was like before you were in it. We've been through so much together, gone so many places together, and grown together in so many ways. You've made every day better with your presence in my life. A wise philosopher once wrote that true love is admiration. I see these truths and these words in all the ways that I admire you. I admire your kindness and compassion, and I promise I will always treat you this way in our marriage. I admire your dying support and I promise to always be your support when you need me in good times and bad. Perhaps most of all, I admire your strength and determination and I promise to always be the strength you need and I'm determined to be the best husband you could ask for forever. Jay, welcome to the family. And we know we have no doubt that you continue to be a Kalenas princess, prince, <laughs> for the rest of your life. Here's to a lifetime of love, laughter, and joy. May your journey together be beautiful as this moment, and may your love continue to grow stronger. Shinro Shimpu Banzai! Rahim Shoku. Banzai! 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 So for those of you who don't know me, <laughs> I'm Kalena's friend Kylie. I had the pleasure of meeting Kalena on the first day of high school. Kalena is someone who loves more fiercely and loyally than anyone I have ever met. She is the truest definition of ride or die. Kalena and Jake, it's been such an honor seeing you grow as a couple. I look forward to more adventures, life achievements. E piha ia ke ola, me ke aloha, a me ka haoli. 
May all your days be filled with love and happiness. To Jake and Kalena Kirsch. You look amazing tonight. And Kalena, you look very beautiful. So you guys look wonderful together. They're both hard-headed and stubborn. They're both caring and fiercely loyal to their friends and their family. So I want to thank you for that, for allowing me to be part of your lives. <laughs> I know when you realize that you want to spend the rest of your life with someone, you want to start the rest of your life as soon as possible. So we wanted to thank you all for being here, for sacrificing whatever it else is that you could have been doing today to be with us. We really appreciate your presence here. I would also like to thank uh, the members of our wedding parties for everything you've done over the past two years while this wedding was in progress, all the support and love that we've received from you guys. We really, really appreciate it and we love you guys so much. I just want to shout out to our vendors, our photographers, videographers, our wait staff, uh, bar staff, catering, our wonderful DJ, our coordinators, Lisa, and of course, Kahu for marrying us. We very much appreciate you so much. I would also like to give a shout out to Uncle Charlie Waitin for building the photo backdrop and uh, Uncle Walter Kishimoto for the wonderful wedding party gifts that we got from you guys. I would also like to thank uh, Ricky Boy and Kavena for bringing my father to the ceremony because he could not be here with us today, but um, he was here because of you guys on FaceTime. And then I would also like to thank my stand-in mom and dad, Julie and Andrew, for all the things that you've done for both of us. We really appreciate you guys and we love you guys so much. And then of course, my new in-laws, Kalena's parents, Jesse and Nora, we really, really could not have done this without you guys. We appreciate you guys so much, more than you'll ever know. Um, everything you've done for us, we really, really can't thank you enough. So thank you so much. Uh, Jake and Kalena, as a minister of Christ Church and by the laws of the state of Hawaii, I now pronounce you man and wife. What God has put together, let no one separate. And at this time, Jake, you make this your wife now, Kalena. <laughs>